Hello everyone. So I'm a little bit late getting this video done. Um, as I said, ideally I want to do a video every Wednesday. It's been every two weeks on a Wednesday so far. Friday today. So um, yeah, due to circumstances I, I couldn't do it Wednesday. But not a big deal because obviously I haven't got that many subscribers yet but I want to start as I mean to go on and I understand that you need to um, you know have a pattern of putting a video out regularly on the same day so that's what I'm trying to do now in my last video I was talking about self-portraits and about how much I love self-portraiture how important it is um, you know not only for your skill set of drawing people or drawing you know obviously more importantly of drawing yourself it's a spiritual practice as well which I talked about which is uh, really life affirming and um, you know some shadow work in they would certainly figure um, now with that I think it's just it's so creative so fluid um like many of you probably i get lots of ideas about things i want to draw and paint so in the mix um i love the the green man green woman um love nature and and trees and that sort of thing so I've been wanting to do a green man image for a long time and nothing was really coming to me and then suddenly it did so you've got to just go with that inspiration start drawing it um, so I did even though I had prepared this canvas for a self portrait that I wanted to paint so it's been painted gold spray painted gold ready I've gone on to start my yew tree green man. Um, just a quick note about um, copywriting, which I can go into further. Um, as long as you're posting, and I got this from a lady I've started following, as long as you're posting gradual images of from the start to the finish of your work um, obviously you sign it and date it um, you basically have the copyright and of course any fin finished imagery or photos um, I'll get back to you on the details but I think you sort of minimise the picture so that if it was printed out it would be all grainy and it would be no good sort of thing um, so I'm still looking at into that myself but I'm making sure um yeah obviously always sign and, and date things and that's all you need really to copyright it and say that it's yours apart from like I said the stages of your drawing or painting so that's good I thought I'd show you um the pencils I had for Christmas I thought I'd um I'd colour this one with, with pencils. Um, I was thinking about watercolour pencils. My favourite Castell watercolour pencils are rather expensive. So this was the gift I had, but they're lovely. They're amazing. They're a special edition Faber Castell 60 coloured pencils. I'm not sure how much they cost, but um, they're lovely. I mean, I've got them now. The ones I got in this in this tub. There's lots of shades, which are really really nice. Um, you know, gradation of all the, all the shades, and there's even some really lovely metallic pencils in there, and silver and gold, which I've never possessed before. So that's really nice. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd bring you a bit closer, as you can see, in a bit better, and I can 
maybe do a little bit of colour in and you can see hopefully um, okay that's okay so I took lots of photos of yew trees and some beautiful um, ancient yew trees in a graveyard uh, nearby so I took some photos of those ones and there's also another place called In So Cove that I go to regularly and some lovely yew trees there so I took some photos of those I also want to do some ivy along the bottom here I don't know if you can see that luckily again I took photos of trees with ivy along the bottom but um, I took these from, uh, from out my yard there's some ivy growing up the wall so I've got those to study and draw or alternatively sit out the yard but it's very cold at the moment as you can imagine so yeah the yew tree being the the, the tree of death they tend to call it um, because it's totally poisonous as far as I know um, but yeah steeped in lots of culture and history from uh, sort of earth-based traditions of paganism and things so I started with um, with this one it's like a, a ready a ready brown you know to do the, the bark and just went over the whole thing I feel like Rolf Harris here I grew up with Rolf Harris bit of a yeah don't really want to talk about Rolf Harris now but I used to love him he was great as an artist let's not you know sort of go into anything else I mean I love Kate Bush and she did a song with him singing it on it obviously like it must have been in the 80s I can't remember what the song's called but actually if you get any newer versions of that song now it's actually been remade so she took Rolf Harris off the song and this, I believe it's his son that's um, singing the part that Rolf Harris did now. So that's just a little bit of uh, news for you there, if you didn't already know. So, yeah, sad but true. So, just used, obviously, lots of shades then. You know, obviously I've done it as lightly as I can with the... My lovely Faber-Castell... So I'll set there and then I'm going in obviously with a slightly darker one then to get the shade in you know get in there with that shade in and then you've got a little bit of that sort of ready brown then coming through to get that depth and that detail if you've ever seen you tree wood it comes in lots of shapes and forms but obviously I'm just sort of going on some that I found and took photos of um, sort of striations then of the um, the bark there is rather nice like there like that I rather like how he turned out to have three eyes. Clearly, third eye, the psychic perception there. You know, if anybody, if anybody knows a bit about uh, all that spiritual art, which I'm well into. I'm not going to lie. That's who I am. That's who I've always been. Proud of it. You know, can make fun of me all you want. Okay. Um, a friend of mine once uh, made fun of me a bit, uh, calling me a hippie, and I said to my other friend, oh, they keep saying I'm a hippie. <laughs> I'm not a hippie. I won't be put in a box. And he said, oh, well, you're a hippie then. <laughs> Which I thought was quite funny. Uh, so I was like, oh. Okay, fine, I'm a hippie. <laughs> there you go. Be who you want to be.
don't be constrained to, you know, names and things like this, isn't it? Everyone's different, each to their own. That's what makes it such an interesting world. There's no right or wrong way. There's things that are morally right or wrong, aren't there? But, you know, some people don't care so much. And uh, there's something called free will, so I'll let them get on with it, you know. Yeah, I hope you all, all had a, a wonderful Christmas and New Year, regardless of the perceived sort of craziness going on in the world. But me and my friends are rather chilled about it all, to be honest, in a lot of ways. Just, you know, don't want to let anything sort of... Uh, encroach on your peace of mind too much. You know, although we do need to know what's going on in the world, of course. But, uh, yeah, if it's starting to make you unhappy and not feel so well, then come away from it, isn't it? And that's, that's with regard to everything, isn't it, in life? Anything and everything. Yeah, so I just thought I'd show you a little bit of the the bark there with this eye. Now this eye, I don't know if you can see it, this eye is blind. It's blind in one eye, okay? So, I thought I'd maybe go in with this sort of light grey pencil. I'm going to get a light grey pencil now. There, obviously, you won't be able to see the colour. Hope you can see that clearly. Maybe bring it in a bit further. Oh, oh dear. Excuse me, I'm filming this on a music stand with my tablet. So, hoping and praying to be able to get a nice set up then with a, a proper camera in the near future I hope but for now hopefully it'll be with me so I've gone in with that one and then I've got this silver one maybe I could go in there with a bit of the silver pencil couldn't I hmm quite like that Of uniquely macabre, I would say. My partner keeps calling him Rizal Gummidge. Now, I loved Rizal Gummidge, but that wasn't quite what I was going for. <laughs> but fine. Um, so, let's do a little bit of the, the leafage or the sort of plural. Leaf situation. This is a nice sort of jadey sort of green, I would call this. Or perhaps not jade green, but more lighter green, isn't it? And there's lots of different shades of jade. Another love of mine, of course, being crystals. And uh, I went to the crystal shop for some years was lovely before I had my son. Lovely job working with my beloved crystals. Yes, very healing. Again, some people I think I don't know what they think about crystals. They like to look at them but they don't think they do much else. I believe they do. Um, but then some people are more sensitive to these things than others. I've practiced yoga for many years. 
and it does I mean if you've started off it's quite a sensitive DSM you know it makes you way more sensitive to things um, so yeah it's now wondering and um, I made some of the most wonderful close friends I have now due to working in that shop which I'm really grateful for very grateful indeed so doing a bit of I like to green one one just get a bit of depth and tone I go in for as much I mean I'm guessing because I got some watercolour pencils, but they're just cheap ones. I thought I would just try because I'd never bought watercolour pencils before. Um, bit of a waste of money. I mean, they're okay, but I mean, <laughs> I bet compared to these ex the expensive Faber Castle watercolour pencils, I mean, they must be spectacular. You know. It, to, to compare them, you know, so I'm looking forward to getting my hands on some of those soon, sooner rather than later, hopefully, because it's just, again, something to experiment with, isn't it? I mean, you know, yes, you can blend pencils without water, but it just gives that sort of watercolour element but then you can obviously you can blend uh watercolour with you know like I've done a watercolour painting I think I showed you in the last video um and then I just uh the dark thing on the side there the sea thing just picking up you know, do you can go in with some detail then, which is nice with some coloured pencils, of course. You know? So... Yeah, I'm loving this. I'm taking a lot of time over this. Because I want it to be... Well, there's just, there's just a lot of detail, isn't there? It's such a detailed thing with all the little pine needles and stuff. So, I'm taking a while over this one. But, uh, but I'm loving it. I'm really enjoying it. Um, so yeah, sorry I didn't get on to the uh, <laughs> the self portraiture. Like I said, I would the self portrait, the painting, but I will get on to it. But it's just my attention was taken to this because, um, like I said, when you when you're inspired, when that idea comes, you've got to just start drawing it, haven't you, and, and getting it down on the on the paper. So that's what I did, you know, and it paid off, I think. Hopefully you think so too. So, like I said, it's Friday today. I'm going to try and get back to a regular Wednesday slot to incur uh, more of you guys. Um, thank you for all your support, those that have liked and subscribed to my channel. Um, obviously I hope to build up a body of work and, you know, have a workshop and be able to start, you know, selling my, um, drawings and paintings. Um, the book is still in the mix that I've written. I'm quite finished typing that up, but I've, um, uh, got a friend that's getting me a list of agents and their requirements that I need to, uh, Tend to then and uh, work towards, and of course, keep working on the illustrations for that because, um, you know, I could get someone else to illustrate it, but why would I do that when I can illustrate it myself, really? I thought, you know, because, uh, as you know, I love a bit of, a bit of drawing, so if I can pull it off, I'll do my own drawings along with the book. And hopefully gain some um yeah 
getting some recognition, you know, for the, the drawing element of it uh, as well, isn't it? Why not? Okay, well, thank you so much for watching, listening. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you think of my yew tree green man. And maybe you can help me name him. I haven't come up with a name yet. Crikey. I need to come up with a name for him, don't I? And as you can see, just about right now. You'll be able to see I've signed it down in the corner there. Somewhere. Okay, right, well, take care everybody, have a wonderful weekend, or whatever you're doing, whatever day you're watching this, and uh, catch you soon, bye.